The Gundam event might just have some of the best rewards we've seen yet, including a nice looking camo and the fanciest blueprint in the game. Let's go get them unlocked. To unlock all the rewards for this event, we need to get to 550,000 XP. So we'll be playing Zombies Multiplayer and Warzone to see which mode gets us the most XP the fastest. And to maximize the XP that I'm getting, I'll be using my double XP tokens. And I'll be trying to do everything I can to get the most XP in each mode. So here in Zombies, I'm going to be trying to get these two weapons, Golden Ivory. So I'll try to get all the camos for them. And I'll also try to get as many kills as possible, complete as many contracts as possible, and try to have as many points as possible possible. I'm going to stay in this game as long as I can and then go do the Dr. Jensen Act 1 Mission X fill. That way we get a little extra time and get a lot of extra kills. And probably the best way to make as much money as possible is to do tier 3 contracts. So I'm going to try to get as many of these as I can, but if tier 3 gets a little too full, I might make my way back into tier 2 and get contracts done there. Let's hope I'm not too underprepared for this coming right into tier 3 with no prep. Actually, I can just use the jug. Good thing this will solve any of those issues. Sorry, disciple. You're done. We're doing pretty decent right now in tier three. I've already done two contracts working on my third. I've cleared out a stronghold and I did a decent amount of looting because every time you open up something to loot here, you also get 10 XP, which isn't the craziest, but it adds up. On top of that, you can just find money inside of these cases too. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of time left in this game. We got five minutes till the storm starts moving and I need to figure out which X fills which. I don't think it's the Zack I have one. I think it might just be extraction over here. But in preparation, I've been stacking all these turret circuits because when we get in there, we can use that deadbolt turret and just have that go crazy. We can basically just AFK some XP. On top of that, there should be a lot of circuits that we can grab once we get into the Dr. Jensen's story mission. But from my previous times doing this, I don't think zombies gives the most XP. I think it's probably like the most fun way to get it, but it might be one of the slowest. But all I really want is that camo and that blueprint because I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of a fake fan. I don't really know a whole lot about Gundam. I got the operator skin. I had the COD points in my account. I, I think they look sweet. I think just about every cosmetic they put in the game so far with Gundam has been pretty good. So I'm just hoping that we can get this XP fast and easy here so I can see what that blueprint looks like in my own hands. Same with that camo. And speaking of camos, I don't think we have a single one for these guns done yet, but they got to be close. Oh yeah, we're getting there. But the Dr. Jensen X fill should give us plenty of time to get them done. I think somebody forgot their Aether Blade here. It's just stuck infinitely looping in this spot. And here comes the storm. Do we have time to do any more combat? contracts. I don't see any in tier three. I'm not seeing any fast ones nearby in tier two, but we do have 58,000. That's, that's not a bad number of points. I would like to get more. I don't want to push it. I don't want to overextend ourselves. Let's double check and make sure this is the expo we're supposed to be going to. Yeah, that's Dr. Jensen. Perfect. I think we might just have enough time to squeeze in one last bounty. I really hope I don't regret this. So I'm pretty sure once the storm touches that expo, it goes away. So we got to be fast. We started this game out with a disciple bounty and we're going to end it with one. Take him out as fast as possible. Anything good for me? Nope. Cool. All right. Get us to Dr. Jensen, please. Ugh. Home sweet home. I've gotten so many weapons leveled up here. But if we can get up to like 100,000 XP for doing this, I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be worth our time. Because we got 45 minutes in here. Basically a whole nother game. We spent like around close to 50 minutes in our last game. So we'll be approaching nearly two hours in this. Let's grab this turret circuit. Now we just need to fly through this mission and get set up at that helipad. Let's make our way upstairs. Quick little ambush. Like that was going to work on me. Let's find out where Dr. Jensen is. A little tappity tap on the keyboard shows us exactly where she's at. What's up, Dr. Jensen? Get started on whatever you got to do. In the meantime, we'll be lighting everything up. Anything that moves is going down. Ooh, we're finally starting to see the camos pop in. And there's another one. It's all starting to come together. There's another. And Dr. Jensen's just about done. Let me in there. You got another one of the things I want. And this is where the fun starts. Now all the spawns are coming in. Once the helicopter gets here, we'll get even more. And once I feel like I've gotten 100 kills for each of these guns, I can go ahead and start putting all my turret circuits into this bad boy. And I'll get all the kills that I could ever want without me having to do anything. All we gotta do is just not touch this helicopter. Oh, and there's our camo we're looking for. I think the best spot to sit is right over here in this corner. It gives the zombies the most time to come up to you and the most time for you to react. And now we're getting non-stop XP, non-stop levels. This is beautiful. I feel like they might have increased the zombie spawn rate here. I would have thought they nerfed this. That's going to be a good way to grind out this 
DNA event too. The most forgettable event I think they've ever added in. I mean, it's hard to forget it with all the DNA like literally everywhere, but the rewards are, are terrible compared to the Gundam event or compared to any event really. All right, I think it's time to start throwing these in here. I'll just throw all of what I got. And for the most part, I can just not do anything. I think a few zombies might get up to me so it's not completely AFKable. I don't know if there's a safer spot. Cause I know for sure if you stand up here with the turret, it has a chance of shooting you if you're between it and a zombie. And the zombies can just throw meat at you while you're up there. And you take a lot of damage from that. Maybe there's a better spot. What about this? I'm going to not touch anything and see what happens. All right. Well, I guess forget what I said. This is AFKable. Wait. I'm taking damage. Turret. Please. There we go. Survived it. Golden armor plates actually helps out so much here. It makes this like 100% automated. I guess now that we have the room for it. I'll grab this turret circuit and this one. Uh-oh. Our turret has ran out. Good thing we got some more to use. And back to working our ass off for this XP. I'm actually stimming so hard right now. I got a YouTube video going. I got Pokemon going. And I got XP going. I'm the ultimate multitasker. And we're officially fully out of turret circuits. So for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to get these kills myself. The Amish way. Oh, we're about to break 100,000 points. One more kill. Let's go. I'm pretty sure getting into those six digits helps out with XP tremendously. And if it's not XP, then it's our schematic cooldown time. Either way, I'm fine with it. Huh, no way. Nah, this really doesn't help a whole lot, but I found out if you just stand right in this very exact spot where like my feet are basically off the edge, whatever zombie comes from this way will jump up and over and down. <laughs> I'd have to go all the way back up these stairs. This one particular moment is where I wish we still had toxic growth from Cold War. I just set it up right here. We'd be in the money. All right, we got literally 20 seconds left in this mission. I've been sitting here killing zombies for the better part of 45 minutes. Let's get out. Honestly, we probably could have stayed later. I forgot the storm moves in this and it doesn't just end at zero. So in total, that took around an hour and 45 minutes. We made it out with 100,000 essence, visited 15 POIs, opened 123 containers, completed 13 contracts, got 3,521 zombie kills and 95,000 XP here. Seven hours off of our schematic time. But how much XP do we get once it adds in all of our camos and other things we completed? And since I tracked our very last challenge, we can see that we're at 280 thousand xp so we're just on the cusp of unlocking this next tier what do we start at i, I could have sworn we we're at 101 000 when we started we were at 106 000 xp and we made it to 280 000. that's 174 000 xp for an hour and 45 minutes worth of playing so that's around 87 000 xp an hour now let's see what the xp is like in multiplayer i'm gonna be doing the method where i'm constantly throwing out decoys and using my ddos field up upgrade as much as possible and getting as many kills as I can probably won't hurt either and I'm just playing Tokyo 24 7 right now but I think I might switch over towards the smaller map playlist after this I just want to check the map out a little bit and it doesn't seem too big but mainly we're going to want to look for modes like what we're playing right now some kill confirm that way you get a little extra xp for every tag we pick up and in case I didn't mention it having score streaks on helps out a bit as well so every point you get is going towards whatever score streaks you have I currently just have all the uavs like normal uav counter uav advanced uav so every streak we call in can also help us out and I really like the aesthetic of this map very nice I feel like sledgehammer is knocked out of the park on all the new maps that they've added in and up until just now over halfway into the game it was just the first time the spawns actually flipped for the most part both teams are holding their own spawns down so it's kind of interesting i feel like I, I haven't played a game of cod where the spawns didn't flip in forever i can't even remember the last time and there's the game just barely lost but i was top of the scoreboard so we went 27 and 23 with 23 confirms and it looks like 20,000 xp just for 20 minutes? Not even, I don't think. That had to be like a 10 minute game. Multiplayer's not bad. Let's go try this on a small map. All right, now trying out these smaller maps. I feel like by default, we should just get more XP by throwing our decoys out because there's a higher chance somebody's going to be near it. And we should be able to get more kills since the map is a lot smaller. Probably a bit easier to find people, but there's also a good chance that we get shit on the whole game. So hopefully our decoys can carry. I am already getting dumpstered. They got a VTOL coming in. They are just absolutely wiping the floor with me. And this is TDM, so we're not getting that little extra XP from picking up any tags. 
but this will be a good game to figure out how much we can get even if we're not performing well. But also for the rest of my class, I'm running the engineer vest with like scavenger gloves, the tack mask, stalker boots, and the compression plate. Damn, that was a fast game. Couldn't have been more than five minutes. We joined in progress and got stomped. We went 15 and 18, 10 assists, and we got 10,000 XP from that. So this will be our first full game on the small map playlist. I hope you ball out. Dang, everybody's got a car or a shotgun. And I'm getting one shot anywhere I step. We still got the XP rolling in. I swear I do anything but play this game how it's probably meant to be played. Like most people will hop on here and try to like drop the largest number of kills they can. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to do that, but that's secondary to that sweet XP number. So I'm over here popping tags like I'm Macklemore. All right, that's game. We finished our first full game of the small map playlist. 28 kills, 37 deaths, 31 confirmed, 16 denies. I was grabbing every tag that I saw. And we got 15,000 XP for that. And I'm going to go ahead and unequip the counter UAV and bring in the VTOL just in case we can hit it. Now we got hard point. I'm going to spend the entire game on top of this hard point. We're kind of going in this game. Ah, we're getting kills and points on the hard point. Of course, right when I say something, I just start not doing anything. I keep getting killed and I can't even touch the hard point. I need to just shut the hell up and play. Because the game knows when I'm starting to feel myself and it tries to make sure that I don't do that again. Actually, you know what? This is probably best case scenario. Let them get some points on the hard point so we don't end the game too early. And that way I can get some more XP. I actually cannot believe how fast of a turnaround it was between me complimenting myself and them just going on a tear. I think we had like 100 points on them and they took it back like it was nothing. We literally just need two more points. There we go. 43 kills, 2 minutes, 20 seconds on the point, 11 defends, 41 deaths. Still went positive though and 26,000 XP. I'll use this as our last game of multiplayer, and then we're gonna hop into Warzone and either play Lockdown, if it's there, or Plunder. And our next reward is actually the camo, so hopefully we can start our Warzone grinding with a brand new camo to look at. Oh, we finally got a VTOL and an advanced UAV. That should help us out. We're definitely saving our best performance for last, or at least kill streak wise and we got another VTOL let's go and another advanced UAV we just gotta be raking the XP in I don't think there's been a single second in this game where I haven't seen XP pop up and that's the game I had 52 kills 38 deaths 44 confirms 20 denies 11,000 score how much XP do we get for that 19,000 XP um we're just short by a little bit. Mimoroid needs therapy. Anyways, there was no lockdown, so we're playing Plunder. Let's see how much XP we can get per game here. Now, I have decoys on this class as well because I'm pretty sure in Warzone, distracting somebody with a decoy gives you a good amount of XP. You'll just get 100 XP per thing looted. And I'm gonna try to do as many contracts as I can. It's so weird seeing this area like without zombies lighting. It actually looking normal is crazy. This has gotta be one of the more relaxing ways to get XP. Just walking around, opening stuff, grabbing whatever valuables we have and selling them and then we got to deposit as much money as we can too but i'm doing this first game completely solo next game i'll do a squad fill and see if it's any better i'm also going to start doing nothing but most wanted contracts because everything i open we get some time off of our most wanted and if we end up not getting killed this is just free xp for walking around looting there we go easy most wanted uh oh they're all above me they can eat an airstrike Ooh, I'm too nasty. Oh, I'm not that nasty. Oh, yeah, definitely not that nasty. All right, fine. At least I completed my most wanted before they got to me. I don't think we're coming close to winning this game, but we should get a good amount of XP. That's for sure. I like didn't even have to fight anybody this whole game. Oh, and we got the camo. Let's go. And a last second deposit. Literally seventh place. Okay, this cannot be right. There's no way. That's over a million XP. That cannot be right. Not even close. What's the real amount? 48,000 XP for 20 minutes. Yep, plunders the way. In this next game, I did put squad fill on, but we get a nice little sneak peek at our camo here. And honestly, uh, it's all right. It's decent. I feel like we can find some better weapons or some weapons that it looks better on. But it mostly being like a clean white camo with some accents on it, honestly, isn't too bad. But it did not look great in the camo menu, let me tell you. I'm still gonna be doing the same strats, going for most wanted and looting everything in sight. Except now, I think we might get through the contracts faster with multiple people looting. Fuck it, we're killing people now. That's one way to get money. Oof! 
I'm too good. I'm just too good. And we didn't win the game. But we got fourth. And 52,000 XP for 20 minutes. I'm only 25,000 XP off. All right, let's see how fast we can get this done. And looks like that's game. Did we get enough? We got fourth place. We should have enough. And what's our XP payout looking like for this? 38,000. Oh, I forgot. There's one more, two more tiers to go through. We're almost there. Now, this should actually be our last game. Oh, we finally got it. Oh, the pain is finally over. And all it took was sixth place. We got 36,000 XP from that game and completed our event. 50,000 XP, actually. Now, finally, the reward for all of our blood, sweat, and tears. The Beam Rifle Bruin blueprint here. This is absolutely beautiful. This looks like a, a gamer's keyboard, but it's definitely one of the most colorful and actually has like an active camo on it, a moving camo on it, an animated camo on it. I'm actually surprised they gave this out for free and this wasn't in like some sort of bundle, but it looks beautiful. I love it. And here we get another look at our camo. Honestly, I'm slightly disappointed by it, but I still do like the aesthetic of it a lot. I was hoping the pattern would be spaced out a bit more and it would look Kind of more like how the Gundams look, like their their armor or the, what their suits look like. But it is very clean, no scratches on it. It's all white. I do really like the accent colors with it, the, the red, the blue, the yellow. I really feel like it works. And just because we had to look at it, this is what our blueprint looks like with our event camo on it. And honestly, I kind of like this more because, yeah, it's got the Gundam accents at the top and the bottom. Like camos, I was I was scrolling through them and they, they don't really go very well onto this blueprint but we do get a whole lot of that matte white which i don't think our solid white camo can do i think it would be too scratched up on this and it really just makes the glowing parts of this blueprint stand out and just so we can see the camo on a different gun here's our tac 56 and i I think it looks kind of better on this. You get to see a lot more of the detail on here than you would with the other guns. Now we can officially rest. Uh, in editing, I'm going to go through, add up all the times and the amount of XP we got per mode and put them right here. That way you guys can decide what mode you want to play if you also want to try to grind out stuff for this event. But I think it's time for me to go to bed. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.